Dude, okay, I could just be like one of these technology like companies. All I have to be is like, okay, everyone, listen up. We've got AI. We've got people involved in making AI. Give us your money. That's a gross oversimplification. You know, it's not gross though. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B and Air stream today on this fine 3rd of June 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been pretty alright. I mean it's been it's the end of the well, <laughs> it's not the end of the week, it's the beginning of the week right now. But um yeah, no, it's been it's been pretty good, nice and nice and fun. I've got a crazy amount of topics. Let me make sure I've got my last topic. <laughs> I'm juggling all of them today. Um but, uh, yeah, no, let's, I've got a, a bunch of things, oh my gosh, where is my tabs? Oh, wrong tabs. I put the wrong tabs up, even better. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, a lot, a lot of stuff's been going on in the world, and, um, I feel, well, it's not like it's urgent stuff, it's just, like, things, you know? Don't you, you ever get that case? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let me dive into today's game of the day. Let's go. Woo! We're playing more Dog's Life. Oh, my mouse is on screen. We're playing more Dog's Life. Uh, in the last stream, uh, I skipped the intro developer uh, title card. You didn't know what the developer's name is, so I'm now actually sitting through it, which is very good. Congrats, everyone. You, you stuck with me. I finally played that. Um, and uh, But also, yeah, we went through pretty much the whole first hub of the game. There's three hubs in the game. Um, for all the stuff on the farm. Yeah, you will never know that this game is hip. Hip games. They gotta whisper it to it's like EA games. What's another one that whispers to you? There's like a company name what's it is it Shadow Light at the beginning of I forgot which game. My brain wants to say Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. That one sort of did it. Oh well. Anyway, uh we're back to Dog's Life. Um but yeah, the la the last frame is all the first world. Um that little dude running around the background. He's, he's chilling. He's got, he's got nowhere to go. We are fenced in. There's no gate here. I mean, you could probably just fit under the gate. I mean, I could jump over. I love that also, like, now you kind of know. That's, I mean, this is like the start of the game. This is just this hill. But they've just casually put these dog kennels on the top. Who's done this? I don't know. So anyway, let's dive into it. And uh, get back into it, and uh, let's talk about all the fun topics, uh, while also uh, saying two sentences at a time, and then cutting directly back to um, Dog's Life, because Dog's Life is a very, very intriguing game. Um, we're here at the cafe. Uh, there are a ton of pigeons, by the way. Uh, also, we have uh, this um, claw game. Oh, you got you good? You figured it out? You're sort of aborted going for it. Okay, can we do it? This is a, a pre-done animation. And I'm completely deaf, apparently. <laughs> wow, you're quick today. Well, it's the title screen ball. It doesn't actually do anything. There's no use for having this. Obviously, just actually gamble. Why not just gamble? Positivity! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Dialogue, for being this loud. Okay, can we can we get all the lemons? Can we get all the lemons? Why is it that they that slot machines, by the way, use melons and lemons and bells? Like all of them do. What is this? It's worth doing loud. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. What was that? What was that hold? I feel ripped off. Oh! 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 Snap! Why has this machine got so much fruit in it? Yes, Gonna eat it all. <laughs> Today is a big day in the history of Miss Peaches. Today, I will unveil how God I and stop touching the microwave. <laughs> uh, I love this cafe. It's just Nelly, like, oh my gosh. They even got the menu behind the counter food. so that you can know what's in it. A hundred, no, a thousand times nicer. So bring your feelings. Oh my gosh. To the radio, dear one. You're gonna hear this radio <laughs> non-stop every time I go inside as well. Um, so we find uh, 
the jacket here. Stro oh, <laughs> dang. Out of all the places they could have ended up. Out of all the places, um, up there is probably one of the worst. Let's keep wandering around a bit. We'll find some- Oh, I should probably sniff things as well while I'm at it. Um, uh, also, this car is- there's something absolutely, like, strange about it. The name behind it isn't really helping. I don't know why I thought we were in England. I was like, why is he, like, on the left-hand drive? Well, not in England. <laughs> Has there been a single English person in this game? What's in here? That's right, it's a bone. Uh, how many bones are we dealing with here? I think the answer is, uh, eight. We also got this boy here, he's got 20 bones worth of strength. I don't know what's going on there. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's do a meander around. You probably understand how this game works. Um... Hit me again, my friend. I'm not sure who is hitting him, but sure, okay. Uh, but, uh, let's talk about, uh, technology and Computex, first of all. Uh, so, if First of all, I thought there would be more stuff for consumers, because Computex is currently... There's barely anything for me to buy from the two big computer companies so far. Intel have not done their conference as, as of the time of recording. It's currently Monday night, and uh... Fortunately as well, it's all... stage left, you feathered fiends! Get rid of them. Actually, you can't fully get rid of them. You're gonna need to... Uh, trade places. Freaky Friday, another dog. To help you out here. Lots of sniffing over here. Check out this this girl and the special footprint. Hi there. Oh my gosh, she's got an asterisk for a t-shirt. Some mean boy stole my coat to dress their snowman. Can you find it for me? Dude, she's just gonna get hypothermia standing out here. Bro, don't you have like a parent? Freaking orphan child with an asterisk. The train to Clarksville will be leaving shortly. Darn orphan childs, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're currently uh, seven minutes into the stream. I've already uh, insulted orphans. Who else can I insult? <laughs> Bug. Mm, juicy. Uh, so for reference, if you get back on that train, you're gonna go the other direction. You're gonna go back to the starting hub. Um, you could wander this direction, but the game isn't gonna let you. I don't know what, why. It's just like, yeah, it just kind of stops. It just doesn't want to walk that way anymore. It gives up. Uh, this map isn't really any bigger than just this cafe and this really awkward lake. Uh, hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll capture a glimpse of this lake. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This is probably the meanest part of the Retro Achievement set, is having to, like, nail these bits, for, like, perfectly. And you're just like, you're like, oh my gosh, man, just, just, let me just turn, I just want to go in that direction. Man, it's so sluggish. This is actually, like, when people complain about ice controls, this, this is, like, the worst. And it's, it's strange, it's really only here. Like, I know the whole hub is all in snow, but I think this may be the only part that's actually, like, on an ice lake. Um, and also, yeah, like, the visibility on these is just like, oh, it's so low. I think I've just sniffed one with my butt. Uh, so let's talk technology. Uh, NVIDIA had a, uh, had a keynote, uh, yesterday night, Sunday night, and, uh, they basically said, oh, we've got a race challenge as well. Go out of go out of nose cam. That's the easiest way to reset it. I'm picking up the greens, man. I'm picking up the greens. Um, in the big conference, it was scheduled for an hour. It went for two hours, and in it, they basically did the same thing they always kind of do, which is you talk about lots of tech that is sort of beyond my comprehension in the no sense problem, of like, oh I don't baby. understand Jake that we're at this point yet. It's like, how do we, how do we determine two, the weather better? One, I know, let's go. simulate the entire Earth. I forgot which one I am, for reference. Because we're, are we both the same breed? The worst part about this one, it's like, uh oh. Get a turn. Uh oh. 
That is one fast dog. It's not fast. He's just using the Chaos Emeralds to walk. I'm just gonna like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's plenty of these, these treats, like you're not caught out too bad. Oh yes, I'm gonna win. But, it, but it's so annoying to be like on that end. And very annoying to do the, uh, the, the retro achievement where you have to get so many of these. I don't think you have to get this one perfectly, but you gotta get a lot of them. Keeps going though, you saw the ending there, but keep rolling, keep running. And then you gotta do this awkward thing where you kind of like scooch back there. <laughs> Around this tree and then you're good. Uh, Nvidia didn't actually announce anything for uh, us uh, regular mortals to own. They sort of went off their typical, the more you buy, the more you save angle. Where's the music? Where's that gone? All right, with this, with this now person. We'll see how a real dog moves, smart guy. Uh, the trick with uh, this person is that since they got uh, some control on the, oh, since they got control on the snow, on the water, on the on the ice a bit, uh, you can actually chase these birds and just keep honking at them, and eventually they bugger off entirely. What's the term? Birds of a feather fly together. There's no reason I'm honking this loud, it's just, it's just a funsies. Uh, but yeah, since I didn't really announce anything that, like, you know, that we can possess, there's certainly uh, a little bit of an air of like, oh man, you know, this is really for me. Granted, I've done, like, I did AI research, or neural net research, because we didn't call everything AI, we just said neural nets, because that's what it is. Linear algebra, that's all, that's all it is. Um, Oh, I'm hi. amazed. You're like one of those mythical creatures with marvelous magic powers. You astonish me, sir. Cut the flattery, buddy, and give the dog a bone. Nice. I'm not doing bone puns this time. We're done. We did them all. Bone. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Uh, whew, that jacket on the. So, oh, I I might be able to redeem it. Can I redeem it? Can I get up there again? Heck yeah, we got the jacket. Cool. <laughs> That's a really tall leap. Let's give it the jacket. Here we go. Thanks, doggy. But that's not my coat. Mom will yell at me if I don't get it back. Just, like, s save yourself, bro. Save... <laughs> save yourself. Oh my gosh. This, the, this flame decal on this car is enough to heat you back up. Uh, but yeah, rather curious keynote. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of, uh, neural net discussions. And a lot of it, it's like, I, I kind of do get it. This is, um, very grand. Uh, you, by the way, just, oh, try to pick up the cat. He's like, nah, not nah, out of here. See ya. Um. There's this grand kind of idea that NVIDIA is probably uh, instigating the next industrial revolution. And there's a part of me that's like, maybe. And 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 uh, part, of, part of me is like, I really, really do like NVIDIA. I, I really like the stuff they do. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to interrupt your snowmobile by uh, creating a landmine in front of you. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I hope you don't mind. Um... That's right. There's just another one up here. Oh, yummy. They're just all all around us. Pikmin could be everywhere. Um, but yeah, there wasn't really too much to, to grab onto in terms of products. Um, yeah, this whole uh, next industrial revolution. Um, I've not been alive during an industrial revolution, so I can't really tell you. But this idea of the robots making robots, AI making AI making AI, it's like it identifies the problems, fabricates them, and then puts them into production. That's Whoa, certainly that went straight one, like, me. a step closer towards Skynet, and we've got be, <laughs> to be a little careful about that. But it's also like, yeah, no, that is, you know, going to accelerate the world in an insane way. Uh, are we ready for it as human beings? I have no idea. Uh, certainly there is still the, the headache of, you know, how do you deal with like people's jobs and stuff like that when 
they're now competing with like robots and that is not something that anyone has a great answer for um i think the only answer i've really seen is if you go fast enough then people aren't hurt for very long it's like you know, people will lose jobs, but then no one will have a job. That's that's a plan I've seen some people say, and I'm like, yeah, no, maybe. Maybe. I'm not too sure, though. I really don't know. Um, it's a politics thing, I guess, depending on how you view it. Uh, certainly going full accelerationist, though, into it. Um, maybe. I Also, some people are like, man, you know, like, AI does nothing for, like, games. I saw that on, like, Reddit, because, uh, I don't know, I still look at Reddit for, like, technology. Uh takes i guess they're not good takes but sometimes you see something you're like oh okay yeah actually yeah um where are we going oh are you gonna sniff out any of the there's, there's still tons of purples where are the purples there's a ton over here and we've only gotten yeah four four bones so got you know well probably the purples probably the blue, the one that I've got in the bowl there, and the jacket. That probably makes sense. Uh, for reference, this jacket is uh, one of very few things in this game that actually covers multiple maps. The jacket is not in this map, so uh, don't go searching too hard for it. I have no idea where the other blue has gone. I swear it was like just around here. Because, I mean, we're sniffing some blues here anyways. We'll find all these, don't worry. Don't you worry, we'll get there. Uh, otherwise, yeah. I, I'd i probably say you could watch the, the keynote, but it does, like, it keeps going on. Um, there's a fair bit of, uh, I guess, like, math fudgery. Where it's like NVIDIA makes itself sound better by just going like, yeah, you know, you could, like, speed up your computation by a hundred times, and that's like a, mm, maybe, it can, maybe. Depends though, it does depend on how you're writing it, whether it's actually like that. It's not complete like magic. It's not like you just suddenly get gain all this performance by just going in video. It's like no, like you gain this performance by actually having like a scalable and parallelizable workful <laughs> like workload. And sometimes some things aren't that. Um, depending on what you're doing. Now, the Reddit opinion of you know, like, oh but I do gaming. Yeah, gaming is uh kind of that. Like graphics certainly are parallelizable, but game process is often quite single-threaded. Um, maybe there's a few things that are broken off into other threads these days, um, but not everything. That's why there's still a lot of a lot of single-thread uh, performance to be sought after. Uh, so let's do a segue onto AMD, which uh, started their conference by saying, hey, we've got Zen 5 How processors coming out. Uh, they didn't say in the keynote food. until the very, very Mainly, end uh, that July is their get. target, but no date and no longer. price. Uh, you can you can estimate probably the price will be about the same as the previous ones. In fact, all the processors are basically the same as the Zen 4 ones, except uh, they start with a 9 instead of a 7. Uh, they skipped 8000s because they did that for a hot second, and mobile processors are using their own numbering scheme, which is just very confusing, and they're just back... Oh yeah, this is my favorite part as well. Okay, so... The mobile processors used to be just the same names as the desktop ones, but like... You know, slightly different. You'd have ones like the 7840HS, that was like a top-tier mobile processor. Um, and I'm pretty cool with that one. I think actually it's underneath this police car, and we've just hit like a jam because this guy isn't like moving anywhere yeah it totally is Can I, like, oh snap i sniffed the wall one go yeah this one was one of the ones i hurt my hands on a lot trying to do the retro treatments i'm like oh a uh, side note can i just flex i went back to gran turismo 1 on the ps1 and I nailed out, like, the license test, and I just got the last gold, like, ten minutes before stream. I'm like, yeah! I found the license test A5 to be the hardest one for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Um, that was a good treat going back and just, hey, let's just nail out, like, all the golds. Because I actually know how to, like, steer a car in a video game now. Um, yeah, I think you have to beat, uh, beat four. They can't have four. It's very tight, this one. And the worst part is when you do any of these, 
when you do any the sound is just not there when you do any of these digging games um uh or any of these mini games based on like sniffing things it's gone permanently uh which in the context of the game it really doesn't matter because it's just you do them you get the bone that's it when you go on for retro achievements it says and you have to have beaten this specific one with a certain score in the certain amount of time all that kind of stuff is like oh that's actually like that's actually like pretty tight so uh, we got a couple of directions we can go down, but let's head down this tunnel here and continue on our merry, 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 merry way. To a ski slope. This is where I stopped uh, when I was a younger. I sort of wandered into the ski slope area, but then I didn't really, you know, I didn't really feel like continuing. I was like, man, is this just what the game is? Just wandering around sniffing things and then that's it. And the answer is kinda. But don't worry, it gets very unhinged right at the end. Actually, it kind of gets unhinged as we keep going as well. Uh, but they announced those processes. Um, the only thing of real note is that there's going to be a, like roughly 15% IPC improvement, which is pretty much like around what they've always been doing. There's nothing hey, too weird. Better go to the top of the slope. There's a kid up there looking for a dog. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this, this level's got, like, quite a bit going on, so, uh, we might take a bit of time here. You know, bone eating another bone. How many bones you got in this level? Uh... Da, 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 the seven. Well, not too bad, actually. Got these orange boys as well. Uh, so yeah, so they, they, um... Yeah, the mobile processors uh, used to be in line with the naming, and now they've just said, okay, the new ones are now the, the Ryzen AI 300s. Um, and uh, some of them have HX at the beginning, so you'll see a Ryzen AI 9 HX 370. Or a Ryzen uh, AI... Oh, Nine, uh, three sixty-five. It's just I don't know what these naming schemes are, um, but sort of confusingly, they backported or they 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 referred to the previous like two generations, as in the seven thousand and the eight thousand series processors on mobile, as the first and second gens. So this is now the third gen. I'm like, is it? Is it? Okay. It's a bit weird, but sure. Okay. Uh, this whole left side of the, the ski slope is all slippery, so we're not going to get very far there. But uh, we got a guy here. Hello. How you doing? Whoops. Oh, no, not again. Whoops. That's the third hat I've lost this week. My ears will freeze for sure. Hey, don't worry. I'll come back. I don't know how to attach it. Oh. Hey, guys, coming back already. Oh, no. That's the last time I'm putting helium in my balloon. In my, in my beanie. Wow. Wow, such grace. Which is not the name of NVIDIA's new, uh, uh, you know, compute platform. Uh, grace was the one a, a bit ago. Uh, they're now going for Blackwell, which we'll probably see on um, consumer GPUs as well. Uh, but also, they're going to have a new platform um, not next year. It's probably the year after, called uh, Ruben. That's the name of the next architecture. Will we see that in, de in desktops? Who knows? It's a bit, a bit away. And we haven't even got Blackwell GPUs announced. He showed a 4090 and then was like, uh, this is sometimes what some people think GPUs look like. I think like this. And he shows like a, you know, a, a larger data center cabinet filled with stuff um also here you go here's a a, a yellow coat i think actually there's a level over there as well so we'll, we'll hold off there for a moment and instead let's deliver deliver this back looks like i'm holding a seagull between my teeth So yeah, so you could just casually carry this between the maps. It's cool with you doing that. It's perfectly fine. A 
Hello there, asterisk child. My coat! Super! I guess those boys decided not to use it for their snowman after all. They literally left it in a cabin. Can turn around while I put it on? It goes Mom on top. Me never to get dressed in front of strangers. Why is this in our game? Nice kid. Too bad she's two sandwiches short of a picnic. Oh, 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 oh. oh nice toasty. Thank you so much. <laughs> don't, don't keep eye contact. Now, could you please help me we are not on looking terms. Dog? I found his collar not far from here. Follow me. Oh. I'm a girl and I'm running around. La 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 la. But yeah, I don't know. Moral of the story is uh, we haven't seen that much really. Like, the new processors from AMD are, uh, yep, it's a bit better. That's a fine, that's welcome improvements, you know. Nothing really too big, but it happens. Oh. Where I found my dog's collar. Then I saw this big red truck driving away. Look out, doggy! Whoa! That mean dog catcher. They say he ships strays like you off to Boom City. Well, actually, it just takes one boat. Oh my gosh, he's going! Hey, he's afraid of the snow, though. Bro, he's, he, he struggles just as much as I do. I have no idea where he is now. He's, he can't catch you. Oh, he, he maybe can. Okay, he can't really. Oh, I'll just take the train, see ya. I believe that... Uh, is this actually the... Res the What's the term? The the requirement to um continue on as well? Just the specific task? Talk to this... Uh, doggy. You'll need lots of strength if you're going to look for my missing dog. Take this bone. This isn't even a cutscene. Just, just, just don't forget to come back or else you don't get the bone. I am as tall as this, as this girl. She should be terrified. Anyway, let's go back to the ski slope now that we've gotten all our bones. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have too much to say about like the current stuff. I'm a bit excited about Intel just because I'm hopeful they'll jump the gun on the graphics card releases and we'll see Battle Mage soon. Um, but this is probably going to be either 100% accurate or very wrong. What is... Hi. We're in the same level. Why is the... This is emulator lag. Excuse me, emulator lag. What are you doing? Yeah, thirty-five percent. Hold on, let me let me readdress this for a hot second. All right, how about let's just unload the map. What on earth? And we're back to normal. But what happened there? What happened there? I, this did not happen to me before, and it didn't happen at all yesterday. Oh, I can see it. Oh no, we're good. Nope, it's happening again. Yeah, strange. Okay, well, let's let's maybe uh do a hard reboot on that one. How weird. How very weird. Also, when I say let's do a hard reboot and then I'm like I think just saving fixed it. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it's just these cars. Maybe it is just the cars. Okay. <laughs> Don't tease it. Don't test it. Time to just destroy these. Oh, he's actually dead. This is like Mount Everest all over again. Die, child. <laughs> I love this, like, s this slope right here, so... Um, but yeah, I'll probably talk more about it next week, because uh, the things that we have seen are not really exciting. Also, check this out. It's a carrot. This might come in useful for a soup. Good thing there's a cafe here. What do they call it? The 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 mountain side cafe. Okay. 
Well, I guess it's a mountain. I don't know why I'm guessing it's a mountain. It's a ski slope. Of course it's a mountain. Also, there's a hat here. Huh. It's almost as if the game's leaving clues for us. Uh, so let's talk about, um, another uh, set of announcements. Also, hi there. I bet you can't hit me with three snowballs! Is he saying that to this kid or to me? Like, oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna have to leave this sort of around here. Uh, this is weird thing. Actually, I think we can say hi to this girl as well. She'll explain the whole plot. They're wearing Crocs? Ugh. Me and those boys are having a snowman building. You've got a hoodie that just says, Can hey. you help me beat them? Hey. <laughs> Try rolling the snowball to make it bigger. Check this out. Oh gosh, the shadow resolution. Let's try rolling a snowball, and it's like two centimeters long. So if you uh, hit circle, it'll roll slightly. We should be able to move it far enough that she then goes, Yeah, that's a good enough size. I've played enough am Animal Crossing, I know exactly how to get judged. That's good enough. Super duper perfect! <laughs> oh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Let's look for things to use as buttons or eyes. Or a nose and arms. Or maybe a hat. Check this out. Yeet. Dude, it's got no end to it because you know exactly. It's just a hollow carrot. Slap it on. Hey, maybe there's some coal in that hut. We could use it for the snowman. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna casually steal this person's coal. Also, there's a bone right here. With CSKI's favorite radio show, The Loud Brothers Live! The Loud Brothers Live? Wow. It's not even live, it's pre-recorded. Here you go, have some coal, kid. Christmas came early. She can't pick it up, it's rolling away. And now I'm in the way. Slap it on. Can you find some more coal, please? It's not like there's more places where the coal is. This is just, you just talking at you. This is just I a still love you. This is just a uh, back and forth fetch quest between this room. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's talk about the Sony PlayStation State of Play. Uh, disclaimer, I do not have a PlayStation 5, or a PlayStation 3, or a PlayStation 4, but I do have a PlayStation 2, and I've been playing Gran Turismo, and that makes me, uh, an Can expert on cold, all things PlayStation, just out of nowhere. Uh, this conference, uh, was basically a bit, um, I hope this wasn't, like, instead of E3, this is what they had. Because I'm like, man, they gotta have some more stuff. Uh, so let's run through all the titles in order, in the order of the presentation. Uh, so first of all, the first title they showed off was Concord. This is a hero shooter. Um, it looks, I think it's a 5v5 hero shooter. Um, Can you find some more coal, please? You do you really need more coal, man. You just got that's your third one. Hey y'all, Miss Peach is talking at you. I still love you. Yes, I do. I don't know if she still love, loves me, so... Uh, it's a 5v5 hero shooter. Now, uh, you may be thinking, why are there so many hero shooters? And the answer is, uh, yeah, that's a good question, because, uh... I don't know why. Maybe it's an eternal thing, but... TF2 definitely set a good trend. There were a couple of immediate copycats. And then there's just, like, the can Overwatch style, call, which can please? coincidentally came out around the same time as, uh... Paladins. Uh, so I, I think a lot of people will, like look at paladins and go, oh, they're all paladin clones, I guess. Um, but uh, now we're seeing like a bunch more now, and it's like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, this one, I do like that they've emphasized the cutscenes and the story a bit, uh, albeit this also meant that when they presented the game, they basically were like, hey, check out this cool cutscene. And it went on for a bit, and it was like a, you know, a fancy cinematic. His head must be cold. He needs something to put on top of it. He's made of snow. Of course his head is... Snowballs. That sounds really familiar. So, for this person, you gotta just... Oh, 
Hold on, you gotta like take the snowball and then like kind of yeet it at this guy. And you'll hear the sound if you get him like that. And then you gotta wait for one of them to throw a snowball and like miss. Or hit you or something. Like you need to have another snowball appear somewhere. Oh, I guess it's just a terrible throw. Wow. There you go. And it's gotta be this kid in particular. And where was the sound on that one? That was a solid hit, man. I saw I saw the blood. I saw the impact. Oh, dang it. This is this one's very awkward, I'll tell you. Eh. Dead. I'd be terrified if the dog was lobbing snowballs at me. It's not even my dog, it's just some s s random dog. He does have a collar. He should be trained, but even then, I don't know, I don't I don't trust random dogs. Especially ones that are like, kind of this large. And I got mud all over the his legs. There's no mud here, it was clean when I started. Okay, I would appreciate the snowball coming my way. Hi. Snowball my way? Snowball? You gonna do it? Oh. You gonna do it? That is not me. Okay. Uh. But unfortunately, I guess the one, you know, cutscenes only go so far, and obviously it's very cursory. I've got no idea. That is. That was a dry throw, he didn't have anything in his hand there. Um... Oh, we are in Freeze City right now, apparently. Not sure what's going on here, I'll tell you that. Um... So then we get into the actual gameplay and, uh... It's kinda okay. It's got one or two things I, I think are, like, alright. I like how there's some long, long-term deployables, like, uh... You can put down health or, like, walls, and they might last between rounds. I think that's alright. Otherwise, it's a hero shooter, and they really didn't set it apart very much. It just looks like a, any old hero shooter. This is the big game they were running with, and, um, they're doing a PS5 and a PC beta in July, and then they're gonna do a proper launch in August, uh, August 23, uh, which is really, really soon. It's okay. I don't know, but it's certainly gonna be a live service game, and it's just like, yep, I've been there, done that, I don't need to do it again. I've played Overwatch. I'm now burnt out with Overwatch and basically anything just like it. I don't know why all these companies think, oh, you know, people aren't playing Overwatch, that must mean they must want something just like Overwatch. It's like, no, no, no. Oh, no, I ate poop. Ugh. I can't believe I ate the poop. Alright, just give me another snowball, because you're gonna give me a bone in like a hot second if you can get the snowball to roll instead of hitting your friends. Dude, I'm down in the dumps because you're not giving me any balls. Don't you dare do like the short lob towards your mate. He picked it up. Don't do it, don't do it, I'm right here, I'm right here, come on, man. <sighs> don't pet me, just... Ugh. I just want a snowball, man. Instead you're like, oh, duh, short throw. <sighs> I'll hang around for a bit, but <laughs> these guys are just... I'm like, what is this? I don't even know, man. Uh, but yeah. Um, one thing I really don't like is that they were saying, oh, you know, we really want to emphasize, like, story and, like, progression of, you know, the characters developing. So every week we're going to have, like, a new cinematic. And one, there's a part of me that's... What happened there? Uh, there's a part of me that's like, oh, okay. Uh, like... 
you know, is that is that really the thing you should be emphasizing? I don't know, but also, there's a part of me that's like, that you probably developed all these cutscenes already. You know exactly what amount of content you're having before, you know, you turn off servers, inevitably. But, like... I don't... Like, I mean, if this was any other game, you'd just release it all in one go. This is, like, certainly just a marketing ploy. There's no real hard reason why you have to drip feed content other than it's a marketing thing. We can advertise we drip feed content. Wow. Slap. Slap on our hat. We've already done the slip slop slap. There he is. In all of his glory. Hey, Johnny, check out Susie's snowman. It's way cool. Hey, it's me. way cool, Your though. Your snowman has a better hat than ours, Susie. I guess you win the contest. It, it, just the hat. It's just the hat. That's all that happened. There you go, boy. Couldn't have done it without you. Dude, I've, I've, I knew I was allured to her somehow. Now they're all doing this dance. Okay, I'm, I'm out of here. Or I'll be back for that. I'll be back for that one bone. Uh, let's just, let's have a trek down the slope, or I could just unload everyone. Hi, snowball, straight at me. I can't hit me with three snowballs. Snowball, right at me, you dumb kid. Straight at me, so. Anyway, next game, God of War Ragnarok. It's coming to PC on September 19. This game is already out. It's already, like, a big, you know, game. Journalists liked it. People thought it was alright. I don't know. It really depends on how you, how you find the cutscenes. Um, uh... I haven't played it, so I got no clue, but I'm worried I won't enjoy it. So there's a part of me that's like, I'm probably gonna, you know, just wait until sales or stuff like that. Okay, fine, we're gonna make our own snowball. Get bent, kid. Oh, now we're making him throw up. Just at me. At me. Oh my gosh. Never gonna do it at me, are they? I'm trying to like catch it in midair, because they're, they're meant to keep throwing snowballs at you, so that you can, you know, catch them. Because it's not like you could just pick up anything else. Ah, stuff it, stuff it. I want it back. We got our four reds up here. It's not too bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we do the tricks? Well, while this is going, uh, yeah, not much to say about God of War Ragnarok. Um, it's, it's, got, never, it's got uh, all the, you know, hopefully the nice P uh, PC port features that God of War had. It's got all these upscaling technologies. It's got ultra wide, which I really like that, you know, they're supporting that. Um, but I don't know. You're going to have to find out when it comes out. You can't just, like, look at a trailer and then go, Yes, the PC port will be good. I accidentally hit up, like, way sooner, and then I was like, Oh, snap. Square. <laughs> that kid is dying over there. Time to do a handstand. Now you go. There we go. Easy money. So now I know how to beg three. They're all called beg. You think they could have given them like some unique names? Nah, they're all begging. You think something sets apart beg? Where are you going, man? That was our sponsor, uh, Miss Peach. Hi there. How you doing? How you doing? Back to the Loud Brothers Live. <laughs> live here on the CSK. They remind me of the, um, the Da Vinci twins. <laughs> We invented our own sport. It's when you take a basketball and you throw it at people. I don't know. <laughs> I love those guys. They're great. Prime humor right there. Um, anyway, next game. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Origins. I've not played many Dynasty Warriors games, but I have played eight a bit. I played Hyrule Warriors. Um... Despite, like, the praise I had, like, some people on my timeline giving Dynasty Warriors, I never really got into it, uh, enough. Oh, I played, the uh, um, Dragon Quest Warriors as well. Dragon Quest Heroes. Which is, uh, technically, it's not a first party 
Dynasty Warriors game, but uh, I've got more that's bones okay. Than this guy. Time to have a little fun. Dude, I'm so dead, apparently. Three, two, one, go. I mean, it's not like these are any harder. Uh, but yeah, no, it's certainly Dynasty Warriors. I can't tell you what's different about it. Um, next game, Infinity Nikki. Made for jumping. Made for jumping, man. If only there was like some place where I needed to jump. And it was 70 seconds away. Uh, next one is called Infinity Nikki. Uh, here's a premise. It's a weeb game, open world where uh, you can design costumes and then the costumes give you open world platforming powers, different abilities, depending on what you're wearing. If that sounds cool, uh, this game is pretty sick. I actually like the idea. I thought it was pretty cool. I know, it's just like a costume game. I, if I say it's like for girls, it's like, you know, like a bit of, bit of gender, what's the term, gender typecasting? It's like, oh, you know, like guys can play games about like, Whoa, let's dress up costumes. If it's a good game, it's a good game. Um, it's very. Oh my gosh, the camera here is atrocious. I'll tell you that. Oh snap! And you can just wander straight off a cliff. Oh, I've got 15 seconds to make it count again. You only have. To, oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna jump into. Ugh. You're actually lost. Let me just appear here again. Gosh, this this level, man, I tell ya. All my pain. This level is where all my suffering lies. That's, that's something so like edgy and dramatic. Uh but yeah, uh the music in Infinity Nikki's trailer was pretty cool. Uh the movement looked a little stilted. Um, which doesn't sound like it's too bad, but it's like, oh, there's like boss fights and other kinds of things. Um, stilted is, if I had to describe it, it's like, just imagine like, when you move the stick, your character moves, and there's like, no momentum. They're just like, they either start going or they stop going. Um, oh, look at that, first go. Whoa, whoa. Just as soon as you eat the beanie, um... <laughs> what happened there? Why do you like Mrs. Lion? <laughs> He's meant to be looking at the. Oh, there you go. You don't get it. I get it. It was all me. No bones about it. Oh, snap. I, I said it. Uh, I think we. Oh, what else we gotta do? Greens, purple. It's the people down here who also want to get pelted at by snowballs. I bet you can't hit me with like three snowballs. It's like the same two people as well. Alright, give me one. Give me one. That. Okay, well, at least the snowball dropped. Now I'm gonna try and hit this kid with it. Eh. Apparently, it didn't count. Good throw, man. Really good throw. My snowball. Uh, next one is called Ballad of Antara. I've not played more Dark Souls games than just the one. Just the original Dark Souls. So, when I say Souls-like combat, I, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just a game where you play as a guy and you dodge roll and you're sort of targeting one person and you're in a bit of like a... You know, a bit of a combat joust. Uh, the monsters give me um, a kind of like vibe in that era as well, where it's like they're very, very spooky looking. Got lots of lots of frills to them. Um, you've also got a couple of playable characters, and they had different uh, movement styles and attack styles, so it's a bit more to it than that. But maybe okay. I don't know. I can't really tell too much from the trailer. Just get them in the nuts. Uh, but yeah, it looked okay. Uh, I have no idea about how many of these other games are coming to PC, by the way. We'll just say, uh, I know Concord is, and, uh, God of War definitely is. There you go. And he drops a bone. Wahoo! At 
last. Uh, next game, Sky Dances Behemoth. This is one of two VR games uh, for the PlayStation VR 2, which I'm like, did, I don't know anyone who bought a VR 2. I know they're going to keep trying to pump some games into it, but uh, I don't know, man. That doesn't seem like that's going to last very long. Uh, Sky, Dan Sky Dances Behemoth is, uh, I've got a mate who, uh, who plays, um, was it Blades and Sorcery? And it just reminds me of that. You're just first person, you can have sword, bow, um, do you cast magic in it? I'm not sure if you casted magic in it. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, you kill some dudes like it. I did like the dismemberment. I liked how he picked up an axe and just, like, yeeted it towards someone. And, uh, it split his head in the I'm right the spot. Because I've seen some games where it's like, oh, generally the head. And then it Three, cuts off the head and you're two, like, oh, man. One, go. <laughs> I want to see it really work. And, uh, yeah, that looked cool. Oh, my gosh, I'm getting, like... Toy Story 2 level 2. Uh, but yeah, it seemed okay. Uh, there are some big monsters that they showed off in the trailer, and that's what sets it apart from uh, Blades and Sorcery, definitely. It's all in a snowy kind of villa. Uh, sort of, like this. Um, uh, there was also one point where uh, some guy, uh, a bowman, shoots an arrow at him, and he catches the arrow with his other hand, and I'm like, that's cool. Uh, seems okay. Mm, not sure if it's, like, gonna be great. Who knows, but we'll see when it comes out. I keep a mild eye on it. Uh, the only other VR title they showed off was called Alien, uh, Alien Rogue Incursion. Uh, it's an alien game. They teased Alien. If you like Alien, this might be cool. If you have never played, or if you don't care, because it's just Alien, I don't know, man. It's just alien. It's VR. That's the that's the gimmick, I guess. But okay. Uh, Marvel Rivals. Marvel Rivals had already announced, uh, or like people had already seen it. They'd already shown it off. Uh, but basically, it's a six v six hero shooter, just like the other six v six hero shooter. Um, play as one of various superheroes and uh, decide to defeat the others in some kind of Overwatch mode. I just want the snowball band. I just want the snowball. Holy crap, you gave me the snowball. Does that mean I can actually do it? It's this kid as well. I'm gonna nail him. I'm gonna absolutely nail him. Oh. Sometimes he throws and sometimes he just looks at it. Eh. The one time I actually have a snowball. The one time I have a snowball up here and I can't, like, bait this guy into it. But I also feel like I, maybe you only need to do it once. Because I, I, I know that there's only, like, seven um, bones here. We've already gotten five and there's one down the bottom of the hill, so... Maybe we're set. I don't know. Let's look for these uh, two remaining uh, purples, which are... Why is my Sniffertronic not working? It's just the looking up my butt kind of button here. Maybe this whole game is just like broken right now, I don't know. I am sort of running dry, or he's just hungry and he just doesn't want to like tell me anything. Anyway, that's it. So, let's get our goods. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. You good there, bro? You good? <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Yeah, okay. Walls are pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this parking job. Oh, he's just- he's getting out of here. Never mind. Dude, these cars are just like... Insane. Mmm. Bones. There you go. 64. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Seven. Easy. Alright, let's head over to that weird little, like, tiny kind of side cut. And there's, there's multiple, because you've got, like, up the road here. 
Actually, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go up the road, I guess. Uh, actually, no. Sorry, let's not go up the road because I know this links up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go up the hill. Uh, next game, next game in the list. Uh, I wrote Alien. Oh yeah, Marvel Rivals. Um, uh, oddly, I would actually say I would prefer to play Marvel Rivals over Concord. Oh, this is just an actual dead end. Oh, I, th I thought I was looking at something, but no. They just designed a weird dead end for some reason. How odd. Can we, can we do a tremendous jump? Can we do, can we do it? He really doesn't want to do it. That's fair. Um, there is some destru- oh my gosh, I'm just really stuck. There is some destructible, uh, environments in Marvel Rivals, and I'm like, that's alright, that's neat. Um, not much to say otherwise, it's, uh, another hero shooter. I've been through that, I'm good. Uh, next game, Where Wins Me. PS5 game, no date, it's a, uh, quick dodging samurai game, I'm gonna say Souls-like again. But that's probably not giving it justice. I don't know. Let's eat the burger. A taste sensation. There we go. Um, again, seems okay. Uh, I don't play enough of these. I can't tell you what makes it stand out from the other one in the trailer. You're going to have to be the judge of that. Uh, Until Dawn. This one is already out on PS4, but it's coming to PS5 and it's also coming to... Was I meant to like keep going that far? I was like, that's, that's a bit odd. The frame rate here is actually good help. for some reason. I need food. For some Whoa, reason, you, you actually have a that. really good frame rate in just this one level. Oh, at least for a bit. But it's like strange. It's like, oh yeah, this game can run at 60. It just chooses to not for so much. It's just so much better at 60 as well. There's not much to this one. This level is just the street, which is probably explains its small size. I think I saw this one at AGDQ. I cannot play this one a as fast as an AGDQ player. Um, the part, like, I, I don't actually understand what's the requirements for continuing on. I just kind of get all the bones and move on, but... Uh, I don't know if it's like you have to do specific challenges or so many of them. Oh, the music kicks in really loud when you sniff the right thing. This is kind of hilarious when you're going like really slow because you guys hungry. And you have no idea where the food is anywhere. I gave you so much time on this one though, it's okay. Um, yeah, uh, next one. So yeah, un Until Dawn. Um, it's Until Dawn. I think people like it. Out of all the other like Dark Pictures anthology games, I think a lot of people do respect Until Dawn probably a fair bit. But it only ever had a PS4 release until... Uh, what date? Fall. You're gonna have to wait until fall to play it. But it'll be on PC, so that's alright that last one? Oh, there it is. Eh. There you go. Uh, next one, Path of Exile 2. This will probably be on PC, but it's an early access game later this year. Um, Path of Exile 2 is a Diablo clone, I think is probably the safest way to put it, but uh, in a world where people didn't like Diablo 4 for various reasons, eh. Oh, mama. Might be pretty alright. Uh, it's got couch co-op, oh, and I'm like, great. that's cool. Uh... I don't know much about Path of Exile though, so I can't tell you how much. Uh, but uh, yeah, it seems okay. Uh, Silent Hill 2, it's a remake. Didn't they already remake Silent Hill 2? Or is it just a HD remaster? Whatever the case, this is a proper like remake, but it's not like, I assume it's not reimagining the game too hard because people really, really like Silent Hill 2. Uh, I have this opinion that anytime there's a uh, there's, like a critically acclaimed game and they're doing like either a remake or a remaster or something, it's like there's a fairly good chance they're gonna just do something that's gonna irk people and just hey, it's not gonna be viewed as the better game. Electronic helicopter landed on top of that building, but I think it's broken. 
humans, huh? Even with all their PCs and games consoles, they just can't beat old-fashioned dog power. I don't know if that's true today. I do like a good dog, but... I don't know, man. Kids are too into TikTok these days. It's always TikTok. Everyone always blames TikTok. I'm sorry. I say that as if I'm, like, crazy old, but I just say that as, like, I never did use social media in general. Like, I'm, I'm just out of the loop on that one. I don't think TikTok is uniquely, like, like, Essence of dead what's the term? It's not destructive, it's just like, I don't know, it's just big. It shot up like wildfire. It's like saying, you know, Facebook for ages, or Instagram for a bit, or Snapchat for a bit. It's just like, it's the thing right now. Oh my gosh, though, legit. Like, the, the number of people who are, like, just somewhat older than me, and it's like, yeah, like, TikTok. And it's just like, it elicits a strong, like, reaction of just like, ugh. Go. I'm actually going to jump to where this person is. So that you can't get it. I like this dog knows about PCs and game consoles, though. Like, one, you're a dog. Two, you lived on a farm. Like, they didn't have anything over there. They had a radio. They didn't even have, like, a TV. This poor kid's getting homeschooled. And he's, like, he's just living the Amish life, like, not by choice. I think I might have actually lost. Oh no, I got it because I piss faster than him. I'm right, much better looking than this guy. Now we gotta get this. this... Temporary. <laughs> okay, sure. That's what. That is such like a weird claim. It's like, bro, is he actually like body snatching? I mean, I know you fully control him, but like my my gut is like you basically prove that you're like, you know, he owes it to you. So I think you gotta use him because he's the only one who can stand on this roof. And also, this is, like, glass windows. They don't make it that clear, but... Um, yeah, this will let you walk over to the other side where the, um, the helicopter is. Oh! It's not broken, it just was upside down. That's actually quite shocking. There's no wheels on this thing, how can it land? Give me a good landing job. Oh, it's got a jet! Wow, I feel the call of the wild. Let's find that helicopter first, though. Thanks for getting my phone uh, back. Here's a bone. Not bad for a morning's work. <laughs> that, was, that was a weird bit of dialogue. Just... Ah, I want to get the helicopter first. Um, I Lake believe... Lake Miniwawa calling relay station. Come in, please. Lake Miniwawa calling relay station. Come in, please. I'm a bit concerned. Uh... <laughs> Uh, there are eight bones in this level. We've already got two of them, so... Making no way. There's also six levels in this world, and this is only level three, so we've got a bit of time to spend today. Uh, anyway, next, next game. Uh, yeah, yeah, Silent Hill 2. I don't know. I don't know about Silent Hill, because I've not played it, though. Uh, but... I don't know, judge based on the trailer, and then sort of just form your own opinions on that one. I can't tell you. Uh, it is coming October 8th, just for the PS5. Uh, Monster Hunter Wilds. I have played a little bit of Monster Hunters. I've played three a little bit. I've played four a little bit. I've played Lake the first Mini one a little bit. Calling relay station. Come in, I cannot tell you what really Lake is that Mini different Wawa about Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, Come in, please. I'm not used to Are the voice kidding? acting existing. What is happening here? <laughs> I guess that roof is just no go. Um, hi there, Mr. Man. How you doing? Lake Mini Wawa calling relay station. Come in, please. Lake Miniwawa calling relay station. I want your meat. Come in, please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, the telephone lines are down, and this darn radio isn't transmitting. Must be the antenna again. How can I send my message? Email. Snails. Like anything. Hmm. If the cable car is running, I could go up and check the radio antenna. Uh, this is another intermap, uh, goal. Although this one, uh... Hmm. If the cable car is running, oh my I gosh, go man, speaking out loud. Antenna. Inside voice, bro. In a monologue. 
I thought there was something like flying over there and I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Helicopter. Uh we're doing <laughs> no problem, oh baby. Jakey has superior bone power. Three. Oh, okay. Two, uh one. but yeah, no Monster Hunter Wilds. If I had to judge based on the trailer, I'd say the weather effects are pretty cool. Um there's probably more to it than that, but uh, that's my big take on from that. And the last game... Was it, is it the last game? Was that actually the last one they showed off? Astrobot? Uh, basically, Astro's Playroom now has an actual full game. Astrobot. It's one letter off Astro Boy. Don't, don't accidentally mistype Astro Boy. Uh, coming September 6th, uh, it looks like it's just more Astro's Playroom with fun, goofy levels and, you know, playstyle gimmicks. But you know what? That sounds alright. Um, keep an eye on it, but we'll see how it is. Uh, there's some boss fights. Uh, there was one ability in the trailer where, um, you just, like, time-stopped everything around you, so you could use everything as, like, platforms. Uh, I thought that was cool. Um, hey, they're cheating. I've got a bar in front of mine. Uh, but yeah, lots of quirky stuff. I like some of the boss fights. Uh... I feel like some of those boss fights are just straight up the original, so I don't know if this is just Astro's Playroom, but more, in the sense of, like, Galaxy 2 has, you know, gameplay mechanics from Galaxy 1, Mario Galaxy, for reference. Um, I have to say that now, because it's like, that game's Mario Galaxy 1's 17 years old. Do you feel old now? 17. It's a sixth of a century. It's probably not that bad, but... I buried more bones around here. I like it a lot. He does indeed enjoy it though. How many bones are we at? Four? Three. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I know I've got one bone just sitting in the sitting in the bowl though. Yeah, he's not sniffing anything today. I don't know why. Oh there you go. Oh. There you go. Maybe I'm just completely forgetting what button it was. Maybe it's, it's probably that, to be <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we can head inside the shop, by the way. There's another one of these uh, poodle cares and a and a uh, parrot who I absolutely hate. Uh, but yeah, though that's the uh, that's the PlayStation State of Play. It wasn't like too long. But it was certainly like, man, you know, if that's all the PlayStation games that they're really, like, kind of flexing over the next, like, half year, I'm like, man, you know, it's a bit of an interesting lineup. Uh, there's one take I like that I think is worth noting, and from the PlayStation CEO, or soon-to-be CEO, uh, check this out, by the way, it's a... I, I, I don't know, I think it attracts birds. We'll wander around with that, but uh, yeah, you can head inside this clothes shop. And I, I actually, dude, this took me forever to, like, figure this out in terms of, like, getting the jump right. But you can jump onto these boxes. But he just refuses so much until you're kind of in the right spot, and then he'll do it. And then you gotta go first person, just, just for a little bit, because there's, like, a couple of these up here. Or just one of them up here. It's a very weird spot. I'm not a big fan of, like, up here. It just doesn't work right. I thought you had to like try and jump onto the roof and then fall through a, you know, one of the windows, but no, they're, they're proper closed off r rusty old windows. Nothing up there. Anyway, let's take this uh, pigeon attractor. Let's try and wander around with it. So if you try and be up here, it's like, yep, nope, I'm falling. Still holding on to the, the thing though. Now, I've completely forgotten where exactly you take the birds, but uh, they follow you pretty well. Hmm. If the cable car is running, I could go up and check the radio antenna. There's a part of me that's like, man, what if the uh, other dog helps you out here? 
I don't think this is the case. I think it's just bringing this somewhere. Uh, yeah, not much, not too much to say about the state of play, though. Um, yeah, so the, the PlayStation CEO, though, what he said was um, one strategy he'd like to employ for PC players is to release games on PC of, you know, these existing franchises and games that are critically acclaimed, and then to not release the sequels on PC. This is an attempt to encourage people to buy a PlayStation 5 and play the games on that. Now, obviously, Sony is highly incentivized to do that because, you know, they... I mean, well, they do make profit off the games. Like, if they're not making profit off the movie... Off the movies? Uh, if they're not making profit off the consoles itself, it's like, is that... Isn't that okay to, like, just encourage sales of the games? Am I getting this right? Am I thinking of it backwards? Seems okay, right? What? I know there's a bunch of buildings, it doesn't really look like there's anything in particular that like screams out like you need the, the bird person. Oh, actually, yeah, sorry, I've completely forgotten. Guess what also goes between maps? Wahoo! At last! This <laughs> you literally need it between maps, so uh we'll return back to this map. I'll I'll get all the goods back. Also funny number. Yeah, it's like, you need this. Unless we just find all the all the things to sniff just in here. Oh, well, there is a bone. Mmm, a bone. A bone. Dude, it must have been so good, like, being a voice actor in the early 2000s. Oh! In the early 2000s, because you're just like, mmm, a bone. You just be yourself. It works out. Anyway, let's take the cable car. Bring the pigeons with me, apparently. This is required. This is what the game wants. And uh, we are now on mountain top. It then circles around a bit. Help! I'm trapped behind this door. I shall proceed to not rescue him. Instead, let's uh, go around and sniff some things. But if you uh, follow this route to the left I'm trapped behind this door. and ignore the man who's crying out for help because he's he can't you know answer the door get his uber eats we should be able to deliver this thing where's the pigeons gone they just don't want to appear on this map who knows um so uh but yeah i i don't understand the playstation ceo guy on that one uh, if he's a ceo i'm sorry if he's not um but I don't understand the opinion or, or, or the take because it's like one. Whoa! Don't step you're in like, that. You like, you know, don't you make money off, you know, the games themselves? You should be encouraging game sales, not console sales. I don't know why you need to lock people into that. And two, PC players generally have computers that are much more expensive and intense than a console, and that's perfectly fine because the console has, you know, its own library of software and stuff like that, and it's purpose built for that, for you know, playing games. So the value per dollar is a bit better than anything that's equivalent. I love how that's there as if it's like I'm gonna jump into that right away. Um, so here's this antenna, you know, from earlier. And uh, we just, you know, bring the bird attractor to it. Yeet! The birds all jump off and apparently now it works. That's a lot of pigeons, you know, Mario 128. See if we can scare them. There you go. Very nice. But yeah, yeah, that's the required plot element, Jay, by the way. Well, not plot well. element, but just for the bones. That's the that's the uh Oh no, it's just there. It's not too obscure to figure out, it's just like, oh okay, just make sure you bring that over. You see it, you wonder what it does. You'll probably see it doesn't even be like, oh okay, two and two. Uh there's another yellow somewhere up here. Where is that last yellow? Oh, maybe we'll see it one day. Until then, let's uh, sniff some blues. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's a games company and they want to sell games and whether they seem worth it to you, you know, you'll have to, you'll have to judge. 
when the games come out and when people, you know, end up actually playing them. Uh, you missed the ball. It's now it's covered in snow. You've ruined it. You're ruining it. I don't know if he's where he's facing here. Sure, I'll just wander in this direction. Help! I'm trapped behind this door. He really wants me to get him out. Maybe I should actually do it. That stupid box was delivered here by mistake. Can you move it out of the way? Oh, it actually was Uber Eats. Dude, I think someone wanted him dead. No way would someone put a box there. Also, you could just break a window, man, if you're actually that desperate. Thanks, boy. I owe you one. So, here's some free advice. Avoid the local dog catcher. They say the dogs will get sent to the pound and never seen again. You're a smart pooch. Wanna earn a bone? My kid brother went climbing and now he's stranded somewhere out on Mount Miniwawa. Can you find him? Watch out for the dreaded rolling rocks. What? <laughs> Looks like I'll never unravel that dog napping mystery. Ah, well, I can't refuse the chance to have a little fun. Watch for rolling rocks. He did it. Oh, but he still gives me a bone anyways. Okay. Bone-tastic. Uh, so how many, how many bones are on this level? I think there's eight. I think there's eight on this one. Oh, there's your last yellow. Time to pee. A peeing game. Let's mark the corners to gain fields and show that dog that I rule. Three gain fields. Two. Okay. One. Go. Yeah, uh, otherwise, uh, you know, I guess I've been spending my time just playing other kinds of games. Um, shout out, by the way, shout out to uh, uh, the first person to completely clear the uh, the Guitar Hero World Tour set on Retro Achievements. Very, very mad props. That's, like, crazy impressive. Um, especially, like, it's only been out for, like, a week and a little bit. Let's see if I can get the center just for funsies. There you go. Now I'm just gonna casually go around the outside here and get like a bunch. I don't know what on earth he's marking, he's just going all over the shop. <laughs> there we go. Do I get to control? Wow. I get to control him. Ten times stronger. He's a strong lad. I love these fluffy St. Bernards. If it wasn't for Australia weather in the summer, I would love one. Because then you could just like, have like a small child ride him. Is that big? I don't know, I'm a big fan of just big animals. Not like big in the sense of like, I could ride him. It's still got to be like kind of smaller than me. But big in the sense of like, you know, like me size roughly. Flemish rabbits, they're cool. Dude, he's like so on the wrong side of where he actually needs to be. That did not give me enough time because you gotta go down here. Oh man, there's barely enough time. And then you gotta, like, somehow straighten out this. It's because I'm doing the peeing game right on the top of the mountain. I ain't got no time for that. Are you kidding? I am kidding. Uh, but yeah, no, g gaming and all that jazz has been pretty normal for me. Uh, I mentioned Gran Turismo, but I've also been playing some other ones, um, some other licensed games, and maybe I'd play them at some point. Um, but they're certainly, like, so short that they're, you know, one-offs. I don't think there's really anything too much to them. They're just kind of curiosities, and then it's like, yep, you played them. Cool. Move on. You could be a bit crazy and actually, like, you know, complete the entire retro achievement set and, uh, 
claim mastery because you beat this game without like taking hits in various spots but uh, I don't know if you really like care about that or not who knows I do at times I have a problem I still love that this song like stops and just goes into this airy like vocal choir segment I'm like like it's the title screen music as well it's <laughs> Time to keep digging. Bone alicious. I wonder if this music like ever intended for like that to be bad. something a bit more sinister and ever present in the story. But like when you when you like got a plot about like dog kidnappers, it's like a, you know you know exactly where this plot's going. Mm, delicious. I love this, like, hill here, and uh, if you, hold on, you can do a bit of a jump, sort of get down, yeah, oh, okay, that works too. It's a weird mm, map, because it's, like, all over the place right here. <laughs> Plenty of bones everywhere, oh, though, I'll tell you that. Nice and stinky, does it? Oh, my nose! I'm going to need this guy, but he's also very, very obnoxious on the bridge, because then it's like, I'm going to scooch past. So what you got to do to to master this guy is grab this log and just pull it. And just, this is what I mean, it's such, what is it even resting on? What is, what is it, like, what are you pivoting it with? Like, it's not like it's tons heavier on this side. I guess you could easily turn it too far. Actually, I think that's exactly what you want it to be. There we go. Now you can go up that way and that leads into yet another level. So just, just a reminder, what's the level flow? You've got your starting level uh, next to the... Um, the, what is it, the, I guess the cafe, um, we'll grab this on the way back, um, you've got your ski slope level, they both connect to the main street, uh, which connects to one other level I haven't seen, and then this level, and then there's this just extra thing over here, so I haven't found the red, we'll go up here right now, this is the mountainside, this is where you... Watch for rolling rocks. If you ever touch one of these rocks, what happens? Essence of dead rat. Well, oh. uh oh. If I'm not super alert, I'm gonna get squished. Well, Whoa. you Ouch. fade to black and then you just kind of stand here at the bottom. So make sure you watch for rolling rocks. I got their NVIDIA physics, or this will be like a Havoc physics. I'm actually curious, what is the physics engine used in this game? Because, uh... 2000s physics engines were, you know, their own thing, I tell ya. Uh, we got seven bones Wahoo! in this level. At last. And this one's actually really straightforward, because it's like, you know, you go up the mountain. Coming down the mountain. That's from a, that's from a certain Takara game I mentioned earlier, isn't it? You know, like, when, when the level's, like, very straightforward like this, is like, man, there's only so many places you can hide bones and things like that. So, if you're ever short of bones, That's I guess, this place about. probably is okay. I don't know if it's good for a speedrun, though, because you got to go kind of out of your way to get up here. Wow, check it out. I'm digging. Again. Bone three. Whoa, fantastic. Gonna do a bit of platforming. Platforming in my dog Whoa, game. That should Whoa. clean out my sinuses. This just feels like the most perilous, like thing. Oh. Wow. Weird trip, man. 
then he says, <laughs> and then he says he's drugging out. Oh no. This game was rated G. How wild. I think you're probably gonna cry if you miss like one of the scents walking up here, but it's not too far a walk. Is this really necessary? It is necessary. We need to beat this game, man. We need to beat this game. Uh, so I got one last kind of small topic. Oh, I got one last small topic, um, and that's just a, a revisit of a oh my gosh, of a uh, a certain um, Chugga Conroy controversy. There's a very long video uh, titled "The Exoneration of Him," and uh, giving it a watch, uh, there wasn't really a lot that I didn't really already know. Like the guy in that video has a lot of opinions, and it's a very long video, and it's one of those like video essays. But it's like, hey, this is a person that I actually do wish the best for, and I'm like, you know. This guy's trying to defend him, so... What's going on? And, uh... I don't think there was really anything he said in there that I didn't know. Except... A couple of things. One, the original person who launched some claims... Uh, about his wrongdoing... Uh, with some, you know, devious chat logs in Discord... Um... Has sort of gone after multiple people like this. Um... Does it discredit this one opinion? Oh, sorry, this, uh, this one instance... Not necessarily, but it's certainly worth knowing that it's like, it's not like someone's just like, I've been sitting on this for so long, when it's like, it's happened to other people. And also, timing is always, uh, always a big thing as well. Uh, the other one as well is that, uh, another person who jumped on, Maseanella, another, uh, runaway guys and Chugga Conroy collaborator, um, one, like, take a look, I saw a bunch of people doing was, uh, like, oh, you know, like, some of his comments that he had said on, on streams and, and playthroughs before seemed a bit, like, out of left field. Like, he's just, like, weirdly coming onto her. How could he? And then it's just, like, one detail I didn't even realize, uh, oh, is, um, Chugga was dating her. He was actually oh engaged guy. to her. Uh... And I'm just like, oh, I didn't even know that detail because, one, I didn't see any rings. I don't know if she took off rings for broadcast or whatever. Um, but certainly when someone is making, I guess, like, just now you go sexual innuendo friendly comment. I mean, Ch Chugga just seems like he's just, he just says stuff. I don't think he really thinks things. I don't know. Um, maybe he does. I don't know. The handstand is incredible, I tell ya. Um... But it's just like, yeah, like, given that they were dating... For like 10 years as well. Like, it's not like you could really pick any point in time and then go, Yeah, you know, they weren't dating at that point. It's like, yeah, it's pretty much most of the time. Uh... There we go, double down, double up. And then we do left, left, right. That's always like, <laughs> like, aileron roll. Right there. That's apparently a beg. And then he wanders off. Never to be seen again. He has nothing to do up here. <laughs> the weird part is that since basically, you know, this has been the whole level, I was just wandering up this mountain, picking up some bones, and then... Gosh. Everything's up the top here. It's like, yep, yeah, okay, well, we're doing all these mini-games here. And guess what? Another, another hole to dig. Not a hole to dig for more bone. Um, those are the only two real big developments. Um, I'm not one to really like be into controversies or drama or that kind of stuff. Um, but it's definitely one where it's like, you know, like, like some of it feels kind of personal in the sense of like, you know, if someone goes after this guy for things that like, I don't think they're like particularly egregious and career ending. Three, two. One. You can you can lambast the guy. That's that just seems to be it. I don't know. You can say he's a bit hard to work with. Uh, ultimately, though, I do want him to come back, uh, Chago, because you know anyone who makes content, sure. Um, and uh, on top of that, I think I think you know what he did is fairly like what's the term? raw in the sense of I always did my stuff as myself I think he used to do his stuff as himself and uh, if you if you feel like you know 
you only need like an editor and things like that, mostly to, you know, help your pipeline, help your process, help your timing, release schedule, be able to do stuff. Um, but just, you know, you can feel free to be like, hey, you know, I'll take it a bit slow, just because I still want to fit in my personal life and things like that. And I'll do all the work myself. And you don't have to worry about, like, never being able to find an editor. Although you probably will at one point, because if Pro Jared can find an editor and have his own show again, uh, after everyone has seen his, um, seen his junk, I'm like, yeah, no, it's all good. This guy's mouth is full of warm drool. Well, at least his heavy coat means I'm nice and toasty. <laughs> Watch out for these rolling rocks, I tell you. Look at this dude. So, I wander up to this guy as this big boy. I, and he wakes up, I guess? Oh, my head. It's just because he drools, hey, that's it. Dog. If dog. I draw a map of my position, can you take it to my brother, the cable car operator? So this is why we wandered all the way up here. Please, boy, take this hat to my big brother, the cable car operator, and show him the map of my location inside. Jake, this is a very, very convoluted signal for help. Bro's like dying on top of a mountain, and he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna draw a map and give it to a random dog. Although every dog in this game is trained, so... Seems okay. I... Okay, well, we're missing this. I think I died. I got hit by a rock while sniffing that. You know what that means? I'm right down the bottom. Which would have been a great teleport, but, uh... Alas. I'll chuck that over there. I was wearing a helmet. I have a helmet here. Yeah. Uh, I guess as well, like, I don't, I don't know about, like, dramas and stuff. I don't know enough people to get into dramas, and anytime someone's tried to start beef with me, it's like, one, it doesn't go very far. And then they just pull out the dirty cards of, well, I know where you live, and it's like, yeah, okay. All right. That, was <laughs> that clearly wins the court of public opinion. I don't know. Am I, am I rambling? I'm rambling. Point is... Life's too short to get that upset about people on the internet. Especially, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, like... I'm talking about this, but it's like, I'm not really, like, batting for, like... You know, like, oh, how dare the other person? It's like, bro, like, uh, you know. You can see it. it. A lot of the stuff, like, the stuff with Masei really is just between her and Chugga, like... It just kind of reads like that. If you're, if you've been in a long-term relationship like that, you know... Your opinion is your opinion there, where it's like, you know, you two have probably just been through stuff. I'm the king of bones. This'll be like taking candy from a baby. Three, two, one. Candy from a Go. baby. I'm amazed that, like, I have the strength to take on the Saint Bernard like this. Is he also Saint Bernard? Are they both Saint Bernards? This guy's a Saint Bernard, I don't know that, so. There we go, that's all that's all the bones of this level. Pretty much just chilling there. We've already got five. <laughs> it's just dead guy right there. No, they're my bones. I want them. Bone horrific. Mmm. Bones. Ooh, earthquake. We put a kennel up here though. Let's fast travel to the bottom. Whoa. How'd I end up here? doesn't even, like, take off health. There's, like, nothing eaten in this level, but it all kind of works out. So back to this place we go. I'm missing, like, one one sniff, and I have no idea where exactly it is. This jump is really awkward, by the way, on the way back. Are you kidding? It's just, it's so hard to kind of line up. Uh, he's pointing in this direction. He's still pointing in this direction, and I've got a massive dog right there, which I have... Now leaped over. The quick dog jumps over the not as quick dog. Hi there, have a hat. What's that? My brother's climbing hat. Good human. Clever human. There's a map inside. Now I can call that rescue helicopter.
Dude, imagine doing playthroughs where you don't rescue this guy. Pocket, in case a strange dog provides a vital clue that aids in a rescue. Please take it. That Your trousers were beginning to smell. <laughs> okay, sure. Is that not because you were trapped boy, inside the day? And watch out for that dog catcher. They say he's shipping strays off to Boom City. Boom City. I like it a lot. He just doesn't want to talk to me, and that's all. Yeah, that was in there the whole time. I just ignored it. <laughs> no problem, oh baby. We gotta play Jake tag. Has superior bone power. Three, two, one, go. I was gonna say, are you really playing tag? You just stood there. And would you look at that? We finally can get our other bones. And then leave here and then just wander back and try to complete that main street and then we got one more level to go nice and easy so. yeah I don't I don't know of uh I get I guess for me I I'm I'm focused on just like you know making Jimmy, stuff and Jimmy chatting about things wow, that are like fantastic. happening um i've sort of i don't know I've, I've been through the phase of getting upset about stuff i used to i, I used to get upset about video games on camera now it's like man you know like video games can like be absolutely dreadful oh actually you know what i've got a good oh that was a good tweet i found and that is a good fart oh my gosh let's see if i can find the tweet here we go we have a uh, a uh, account by the name of, I'm gonna I'm gonna name drop you, my man, because uh, this is a this is a fun discussion point. This is not a rip of opinion, although I probably disagree with you. We have a uh, Chrono Collie at Chrono Collie going uh, with a uh, where we've got a Wojak at the party. Games aren't good nowadays, and everyone else at the party that's having a good time and completely ignore him uh, has pictures. We got Yakuza Like a Dragon, or Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, sorry, that's, there's no Yakuza in the name. Final Fantasy 16, Xenoblade 3, Persona 3 Reload, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Elden Ring, Doom Eternal, and Baldur's Gate 3. Um, the, I guess the argument here is that people, there are indeed, I see, I do see takes like this, and I myself have this sentiment that games aren't as good nowadays. Are they not good at all? Well, no, because I do certainly agree that, um, at least, well, I was going to say the ones I've played. I've played Zelda, and i uh, played a significant bit of Mario Wonder, although I haven't beaten it yet. And, uh, I can only infer many of the rest, um, based on my other experiences. Um, but I can certainly tell you that, like, you know, generally people enjoy them. Although, I feel like Final Fantasy XVI, maybe some people are like, uh... And to that, I'm like, yeah, maybe, because... People may enjoy it, but there's a reason why I keep hearing people talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, people are much more hyped around that. Is it because Final Fantasy VII itself is just more popular? Maybe. Simply the best. I need to figure out where to sniff the rest of the purples, to tell ya. Um... Perhaps one could say that Like a Dragon also isn't the best. Um... The dub certainly is, uh, a point of contention. But, uh... Generally, um, oh, I guess Xenoblade's in that same list for, you know, if we're going to criticize dubs, maybe. Oh, I have just created mass destruction. Um, actually, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has, like, an atrocious dub. Can I say that one? That one's a safe one. I keep memeing about, like, <laughs> secret stones in prison war. I keep saying that all the time just because it's just, like, it's so forced and you have to hear it four times. Ugh. There we go, I've sniffed everything. Um, I haven't played Doom Eternal. Uh, Elden Ring, you know, I've heard lots of good things about it. Um, Persona 3 Reload is, people do enjoy Persona these days. Um, I certainly can't say it's a bad game. Baldur's Gate, definitely, you know, people people really like it. Head back up to this guy, by the way, and he's Excellent. like... Excellent. The radio is working again. I wonder what happened. That certainly was a fine steak dinner. But what to do? That was not ball. a steak. That was. Hmm. Here you bury this or something. Well, I'd say no. 
simply the best. And then he proceeds to still damage his electronics anyways. So how many bones we're at? We're at, uh, seven. Oh, I've just got to eat the one and then we're good with this level. <laughs> I've only got one more level to go, man. I was still on the ski slope, like, 45 minutes ago, and then we've just nailed these three levels, like, down pat. Oh, okay. Um... Certainly, though, I do feel like there is the sentiment that games aren't as good nowadays, because these five examples, uh, the oldest one is Doom Eternal, but Elden Ring is, uh, a 2022 game. Um, oh, yes. Life Xenoblade is 3 good. is, what, when was that? Was that also 2022 or 2021? Um, Final Fantasy 16, was that last year? Maybe. Um, and uh, Persona 3 Reload, there's a part of me that's like, it's Persona 3. It's a lot older of a game. You could just say Persona 5. People enjoy Persona 5. Um, uh, there's certainly other examples you could pull. Uh, I've seen one example where, uh, oh, like literally just, you know, use, um, you know, the Talos Principle. Or Pikmin 4. A lot of people really enjoyed Pikmin 4. Instead of Final Fantasy 16. That was the only one. Uh, Armored Core people liked. Um, someone's also like just any Resident Evil. Uh, the frame rate on this level is back to being bad. <laughs> that is not your computer. That is just the frame rate. This is a wonderful helmet. Actually, I want to see if I take this off. I can trigger the... Uh, line of dialogue that then in initiates like what's going on here hey there sweetie chops oh boy you good you good oh no tonight is the opening of my simply fabulous new act but i can't perform without my adorable wigs can you find my wigs for me sweetheart it'll be worth it just to see this guy's fabulous act Oh my gosh, you, 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 you're imitating him! Are we really making fun of gay guys? Oh no. I picked the worst month to do that in as well. I can't believe it. Well, I'm gonna give him this hat, that'll totally make everything better. Marvelous! Bring me the rest of my beloved wigs, and my tremendous talent will burst forth in all its gorgeousness. Gorgeous! Like, what? Is, what? Blank stare. Some people think I'm a dead ringer for John Revolta. What? Oh, there he goes. I like how his audience is entirely full of blind people, but they have great aims because they can hear how bad he is. So every time you get this guy like a hat or a wig, one, you gotta wear the wig, which is kind of funny. But also just like, he puts it on and plays a different bit of music. Hi. You good? You... You want this one? Oh, you gotta, be, you gotta be done with your song. Oops. Super! Collect two more wigs, and I'll throw you a simply scrumptious bony maroney. Uh. That's odd. Now I feel this strange urge to put on a dog collar. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I never knew what was the, uh, the, um, I guess, reason why it's always tomatoes. Is it just because tomatoes were always in plenty, plentiful supply year-round in, uh, old England? And so they'd always have, like, fruit markets, just like, come get your tomatoes so you can throw them at this lad. Bro, I don't trust this, this wig at all. I don't trust it. Oh, I'm just dizzy oh, already. Scrummy. One more scrummy. wig and that bone is yours to own. Oh. Oh, that other stuff is too loud. My sensitive nerves need soothing. I 
I don't know why they haven't left, unless they just think that the, uh, throwing tomatoes at this lad is a, a good pastime. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Uh, the last wig is just casually around here, it's not that far. This level's not too big, this is the, uh, the, the hotel level, but... Ah, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, oh, thanks for the raid, and, uh, the follow chippy draws. Oh my gosh, we got- I don't have raid alerts on, but I wish I did. There's a raid from a magical you mammal. sweet thing! There's no business like show business! Voila! Voila! Dog's life! Well, bless the Dog's oh, life, baby! This makes me all shook up! <laughs> no tomatoes. They actually like this one. Thank Chibi for the raid, they recommend it. Thank you, Chibi. Thank you, Chibi. I'm always, like, impressed when, when people find, <laughs> find, uh, streams across through Twitch, because, uh, I don't know, there's a, there's a sense of community that I'm, like, <laughs> Uh, seldom a part of, and then it's like, oh, thank you, sir. I play lots of games all over the place, so uh, Dog's Life is definitely the the game of the right now. I'm just doing a, a bit of a casual playthrough, but uh, um, knocking off one world a stream, which does mean that uh, this is the last level of the world, but I did just start, so. I played this game ages ago. Um, I owned it as a kid, um, and I'd only beaten it like a few months ago. I, I'd sort of stopped around around the, the ski ramp, the ski, um, the ski slope level. But, uh, yeah, no, I played it again, I was like, yeah, this game is insane. It's kind of funny, so <laughs> I think it's worth showing off and definitely a, a good fun curiosity game. I found that a lot. I've, I've been going back so much as a kid, the finished dub of this game, the finished dub. Whoa. Where are we going? We're going down here. I think it's up there, I'll just goof that up. I should definitely give... It's the Finnish dub on the, um, the, the European release, or... It's just its own thing. Because, yeah, oh, that'd be good fun. Yeah, okay. In that case, then, uh, because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Australian, so, uh, we'd have that release, so I'd, I'll, I'll give it a check out. Gonna have to ignore that bone there because there's more blues in this direction. No way! I'm a dog, not a mountain goat. I'm glad that he, he keeps telling me no way, and then he proceeds to immediately do it. Also recommend the finished dub. It's just the ultimate way to play. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it a show off, like uh, next week's stream. <laughs> That'd be good fun. There you go. Can you tell what's happening back there? That's right. Magic. <laughs> the real meta. It's like speedrun strats where it's like, oh, you put it in like Italian because there's fewer characters, and then it's like, you put it in Finnish because it's funnier, and you'll you'll do your run better. <laughs> Good. You gotta you gotta <laughs> There's been a lot of magic in this game already. I'm surprised it's not just like a magician swoop and being like, ah, here's a bone. I conjured it out of, out of thin air. Some of my favorite games. My favorite game of all time is uh, Metroid Prime on the, the GameCube. That one's great, but uh, I've enjoyed playing um, the Spyro the Dragon games uh, recently on stream. Um, just a bit of stuff all around. I, I enjoy a good racing game. I was playing Gran Turismo again recently. Um, uh, some newer ones as well. Uh, there's, a, there's a recent like indie game. I always recommend this one, um, Cook, Serve, Delicious. That one's a great, great jam. Um, and, uh, there's one... Oh, if I had to recommend one shooter, what would it be? Serious Sam, the second encounter. I'm going with that one. Spyro fan, there you go. Stinky. I don't play a lot of newer games, so I do... But yeah, oh no, Spyro, Spyro is, like, such a jam. Such a jam. I, like, overanalyze the heck out of that game. Um, but it's great. Uh... I, I, like, it's one of my games, I have a handful of games where it's like, it's a yearly ritual, I gotta play through it, so... Metro Prime's always one, Spyro the Dragon one's always that, and, uh, oh, there's another one. Quake 1. I always do Quake 1. I haven't you done it. I, I'm, like, here. about to do it. Not until you find my dog. Find my dog. 
<laughs> oh, the accent. So good. All right, well, there's dog somewhere, so let's find his dog. Well, it's casually chilling around there, but... Look at this little, little thing. Look at this. Look at him. I'd be terrified if my walk cycle was like three frames. Uh, play the story of Quake Four was six. That, <laughs> it, that is yes. So small, big rat, dude. I I I, I was saying earlier just before you rated that um I'm a very big Saint Bernards kind of guy. If I ha ever had a dog, it's it's unfortunately too hot in Australia in the summer for Saint Bernards. Um, but I I'm such like a big animal guy. Like my absolute favorite pet I would oh, love to have is a big tortoise. One, because I'm actually like, I'm like, <laughs> this one, this one's like sad, but it's like, it's, don't read too much into it, but it's like, I'm terrible with like dealing with loss. So it's just like, a tortoise is gonna outlive me. I'm gonna give that to my great, like, grandkids. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it would be great. Um, tortoises are tough in Australia, but you could, you could totally make them work. I guess you'd have to pass down the exotic, like, animal license. So. <laughs> Go. But like they're the only animal where it's like that's gonna be the case, right? Like because everything else, you know, doesn't live as long as humans, so... I have seen um, Flemish rabbits. Flemish rabbits are also pretty cool because they're nice and big. Um, also, look at that time, like 460 seconds. Oh my gosh, did, did you, his leg! What's going on there when he was landing? That happened twice. I want to, oh, I want to recreate that. There it is! What's going on there? His leg! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> there were some fun ones uh, with the um, uh, the vending machine and the um, the train station level just in the um, the I town. Told you not to wander off. Told you to not to wander of off. <laughs> Look at them; they all uh -oh. lined up for you. No way that little thing can stand up to those rats. This is true rat gaming out. Oh my gosh! Big rat taking care of little rats. It's a rat thing. Assert dominance. Uh, how, what do you do here? You you grab him. You, gra you do grab him, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you grab him, and then you attempt to go for three. A two-pointer works as well. Free throw. Uh, I don't believe... Oh, they have gone inside. There's ten of them. That's why the time limit is so long. It's such a satisfying, just like, clunk, clunk. That rat is, <laughs> that rat is trash, belongs in the trash. Imagine having a hotel with like this bad rat. Oh, no, 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 don't put him down. <laughs> Yeet, oh, no, you gotta yeet him, you gotta, you gotta yeet him. Unfortunately, putting him down and throwing is the same button. And you can see the button only says throw. Oh, I've just conjured a rat out of, out of thin air. Come on, there you go. You know when they say a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth, usually? One, that's a... Okay. Okay. Oh, is it holding? Maybe that's it. Dude, I've, how far have I played this game entirely? And that never clicked in my head. That never clicked in my head that it's holding. Oh, I've, I've made the camera stuck. Don't worry, I'll come back for it. It's somewhere over here. The more I learn... That makes so much more sense. There are four more. Four more rats. <laughs> this it, it, it's jank, but it's like the fun kind of jank because it never goes like catastrophic on you. It's strange as well because like I don't I really expect this game to be out on more consoles than just the PS2. Like this is it. This just just exists for this one console. This is the one release, and then we move on. It just comes out in the zeitgeist of, like, pet-related things, like Stuart Little. Uh, my mate, by the way, uh, they should remake it, definitely. Um, given that, like, they, like, Frontier have the rights to, like, Thrillville, such that they can, like, re-release it. Just two more! Just two more rats! I, I don't really see why you can't re-release this game. Like, is there any rights stuff going on? Probably not. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, uh... Uh, I found out that, um, Stuart Little, this is a completely unrelated note, but it's, uh, zeitgeist of animal-related things of the early 2000s. Stuart Little was based on a book 
where Stuart Little is not a mouse. He's just a human who looks like a mouse. And that's why he can talk. Why can he talk to animals? I don't know. But, sure. Why does he have a tail? I really don't know. That's probably <laughs> Stuart Little PS1 game. I, I played Stuart Little 2 on the PS1. Um, I tried, uh... There you go. Yeah, that's you the one. It, if you like Stuart Little 2 on the PS1, you'll have an alright time with Stuart Little 3 on the PS2. Uh, which is all just... It's just a, it's just a nice, casual, chill collectathon. It's only five levels long, but the levels are like, really weirdly large for some reason. Um, I hope. I uh, hope. <laughs> My favorite. Oh no, he poor dog. Oh no, he can't, he can't just walk into traffic like that. Uh, he's holding him up as well. He can't get forward. The friction is strong with his nose. Jeez. Although, granted, when you got tires like that, you are not getting anywhere. You are not going anywhere with that. So. Uh, so how many bones have we got? We've got five. We're not- we're not completely done. I think, um... Well, there's at least two I gotta collect, so... Based on sniffing things, so... Dude, yeah. I just- I just love how many cars there are here. It's just... Hilarious. There you go. So we got this, and it's probably just the two things I gotta sniff, and then... Uh, we'll make our way to the city. I'm wandering around as if the scents are not just, like, inside the hotel after I've cleared out all the rats. I've only, I've only ever seen snow, like, a handful of times in my life. I remember a car was on top of a purple scent in my game. If you're in the, um, the cafe level, it, it, it was like that, and I literally did this, and I just, like, walked right up to this, and, like, my nose juts out just slightly further, and I picked it up earlier on the stream. It's just, it's just like that. I still don't understand why people's shoes smell. You know what I mean? If dogs ever come up to me and sniff me, they're usually sniffing my, like, pants. Not my shoes. I can't explain. I remember, um, I was, I was at my parents, like, around, like, Christmas time. Or Easter time. And we were wandering around and, like, a neighbor's dog had, like, run around. And, um, snuck up behind us as we're walking down, like, the road. And just, like... What, what's the first thing he does, rather than just, like, bark or, like, alert people who are present? No, he jumps on my sister. She's absolutely terrified and just got mud over her clothes and she's, she's not very happy. She's not very unhappy, Jan. And then, uh, my, my dad's, like, trying to, thinking that this dog's aggressive and it's like, no, man, it's just, he's just crazy playful. So I, I jumped in a bit. Um, there's one word that says it all. Arr. Oh no, I'm jam myself in a corner. You know, if I had tomatoes, I'd throw them at him. <laughs> Dude, this hotel doesn't even have a door. It's just all snowy outside, and they're like, yeah, nah. Brave, brave the weather. It's just... Oh my gosh, the music is region exclusive. Ooh. It, he does different music depending on what hat he's wearing, so it might just be the hat that I finished off with. Maybe. Oh, there's a giant a hole in my game. territory. Let's mark the corners to gain fields and show that dog that I. <laughs> so sound like that Three, at all. Two, one, go. I've currently got the U.S. version running just because um, when you do get 60 FPS, it just looks nice on streams. Hold on, let's stop him from doing one. Ah, I don't think I stopped him. Oh, I did! Nice! <laughs> bit more of the Elvis hair. A bit more rock and roll. Poor dog keeps wandering in circles. He'll never, he'll never understand what's happening here. Show me Pixie Fruit Fruit's his boss. I'll just piss on Pixie Fruit Fruit. <laughs> he 
He's doing a lap now, victory lap. He's really aggressive on like picking these ones back up again. Oh, just full miss. He trying to reclaim my territory? Can't do that, man. You can't. It doesn't work like that. At some point, he's got to figure out that, like, it doesn't work like this. Like, he's going to hit the next corner as if it's going to do anything. That's probably quicker ways of getting this out of the way. I just wanted to hear the music loop. Ah, oh, it switched at just the exact time. There you go. And you don't have to think about this corner at all. One. Two. What? Why that spot? Why? Why? Why do you think that spot? I don't know. Oh, what's happened over here? Parallel parking. That wasn't parallel at all. And I'm gonna sniff. Where to go? This. <laughs> Stack it in the bowl. Which you can't see. <laughs> this is another parking job. Oh no. I'm amazed it's actually not like crazy snowing in that courtyard because uh it's just snow everywhere. I've never lived in like Wisconsin or another snowy area. <laughs> Specifically Wisconsin. Um you know what you know what I mean where it's like I don't know, it's always warm near me. Jake Even in like winter, it's like the worst we have had is like I an like eleven degree lot. Celsius day. Um which is not too bad, so I think that's every bone. We've got eight bones in this level. We've got seven in the mountain side. We've got eight in the mountain top. We've got seven on the ski slope. And we've got eight on the high street. I think we're set. And uh, eight on the cafe. I know we had like some levels earlier that had nine, but I think that's actually like what we end at on this one. So let's wander over and go into our next area. And uh, I'll call that a stream. I wish I had someone to like di divert to, um, to raid on into... Um, maybe I'll find one. I, I, we gotta, we gotta keep just springboarding off into other, other, um, uh, dogs live streams. That's, that's how it's gotta, gotta go. Oh, I'm the only one doing this. No, there's no one else doing dogs live streams. We're gonna have to, oh, what's a, what's another one? What's another game that's like fun and obscure? This area is crazy laggy on the EU version. Yeah, it's, it's like super smooth for some reason on the American release. <laughs> I don't know how. It's like, it's it's not like it's tons smaller than the other versions, the other levels. Who knows? So if you head down this like left path, you actually end up back to the cafe. I like how after all of that, all you got to do is just catch another train here. That's all you got to do. Just one more train. So there's your train going the... uh wrong way. We need to jump onto the other platform. There we go. <laughs> He's just on watch. So I assume the barrier is a, is a bone gate? Like you need so many bones to continue? And also specifically have this guy chase you by getting the girl's jacket back. I don't know, I haven't played enough to, to know if that's the case, but uh... Yeah, okay, in that case, I gotta find like some some fun retro game that's like... good to jump to. We got a cutscene by the way, don't worry. <laughs> it's a very nice shiny truck though. Dude, I, I feel... covered with dog germs! Uh, perhaps you may be in the wrong line of work, Wayne. Oh, mind your own beeswax, Dwayne! <laughs> Hello? Dwayne speaking. Well, did you collect some nice clean mountain dogs to supplement those nice clean Clarksville dogs? Uh, yes, Miss Peaches. 
Excellent. I must have only the freshest, most organic animals. Deliver them to the Boom City Dog Pound. Now. Uh, can now. I ask a question, Miss Peaches? Oh, very well, if you must. You're not gonna hurt them little doggies, now are you? Are you questioning my genius, you overgrown ox? Uh, uh, no, Miss Peaches. Uh, Wayne? What? That was Miss Peaches. I think maybe <laughs> she could use some therapy. Same. They're not even lost here. They're just, just pulled up in the oh, parking lot. For pity's sake. <laughs> Wait. Look. At last. Dude, they put a sign in. That's just, that's literally where it came from. And here we are. We're at station. But, uh, Boom City. That's our last hub. Uh... Where we'll wheel up. Wheeling up here. Dude, we got a funky music, man. We got that... That muted snare. That's not muted. I think it's just a regular old snare. I'm actually curious as well, like, when, you know, back back in the day, is, do you use a real drum kit or do you just, you know, do your electronic samples? This kind of works pretty okay. So, let's wander around to the kennel and call it a stream. I love these crazy taxis, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the kennel, yeah, the kennel's all the way back here. It's like a, it's a very odd spot, but... Oh, we can get ourselves clean as well while we're at it. Let's just, let's just do it. Why not? <laughs> I'm a dirty dog. Daisy wouldn't like it. Get yourself clean. I feel like a new dog. Okay, I'm trying to find like Stuart Little streams. Is there anyone playing a Stuart Little game this very moment? I can't see anyone. No. I've never done this before. I've never tried to like jump springboard into a into a another raid. No, it's just past videos, channels. I never know. Okay, what's what's a good idea? I've never done a, a re-raid. Who's who's who would be a good one to to jump to? Digimon World. We'll do a Digimon World. There's bound to be someone doing Digimon World. Here you go. Here you go. Let's see. One of these has 90 viewers. And one of these has five. My only problem with the five viewers is that it's not in English. It's all in French. It makes the raids kind of awkward. We'll do the 90, the 90 viewer one. Is this guy speedrunning? Totally is, yeah. He's got the split times, no major glitches. Sure. Okay. In that case, I would like to thank you all so very, very much for watching. Um, <laughs> I'll end the stream here. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh... Be digging the vibe back here for sure. Yeah, I, I stream every Monday, 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so what is that, like 10.30 a.m. UTC? Just every Monday. It's just once a week, but it's nice and fun. Um, if you miss parts of this, uh, every stream vod I put to YouTube. So you can go back, see the whole back catalog and all that stuff, including last week's stream. That's all good. And uh, I say stuff on uh, Pleroma, on the Fediverse. So you can follow me at m.bnl.com. I've probably got a link somewhere in the description for that. Um, but yeah, nah, it's, it's been good fun. And, and yeah, thanks for the raid, thanks for the chat. It's, it's good stuff. I'm enjoying this game, it's good fun. Good fun and wacky. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, how do I, how do I do, how do I do, um, raids? I think I go to Stream Manager and then you click a button, right? Yeah, there you go. Raid channel, pick a live channel. Um, well, don't worry, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm not, I'm not cutting off the stream just at the moment. Let's get this guy. Let's get him. Get him? Is that how this works? Here we go. Digimon World. Okay, here we go. Raid start. See you, everyone. Have a good one. Woo! Oh, you gotta wait like 10 seconds. There it is. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>